Hello and welcome to day three of our star lettering series. If you've missed on any of our previous videos, be sure to check those out first and then come back to this one. Okay, so today things are getting trickier. We'll start with the compound curve, which is the midst of the last two strokes we learned, the overturn and the underturn. So we got our tracing paper right here and then we can start. With this one, all the same rules apply. You want to make sure that all these lines are parallel to each other and you want to transition slowly between thin upstrokes and thick downstrokes. It's especially tricky with this one, so you're gonna have to make sure that you're going very, very slow. So here you start at the bottom with your upstroke, then you come down with a thick downstroke, and then you go back up with the thin upstroke. So again, thin, thick, And if you remember with the underturn and the overturn, this is the part where you start transitioning into a thick downstroke and then here into a thin upstroke. That's where you'll remember to start letting off the pressure or put in pressure. And again, with this one, you want to make sure that you're going very slow or you'll have trouble with those transitions. So thin and start applying pressure and start letting off pressure. Paint up, apply pressure, let off pressure. And like I mentioned yesterday, you want to draw the stroke in a single movement without lifting your paint off the paper at all. It will be tricky and shaky at first, but the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. If you're practicing with a regular pen, I hope you're getting the hang of thickening the downstrokes and getting that calligraphy look. With the compound curve, the trick will be in keeping the shape of the curved downstroke. So you'll have to start thickening close to the stroke. So you keep the shape. And then when, when it comes to thickening, you make sure that it starts thin, then gets thicker, and then goes back to thin. So you can keep that curved shape of the downstroke. So you do your shape and then go back to thickening, making sure that there's a thickness. You don't want a straight line because then it will look weird. And it's personal preference if you want to thicken the inside or the outside of the shape. Like here, I'm thickening the outside. But you can also do the inside. Personally, I like doing the inside, I mean the outside, but that's up to you. Great, now let's move on to the oval. And before we start this one, I'm going to need you to take a deep breath. This is one of the toughest strokes to learn, and it has given me and many other calligraphers a thousand headaches, but it's okay. Keep in mind that you're only starting, and the more you practice, the more improvement you'll see. So, the oval has a trick that will make your practice 10 times easier if you keep it in mind. With the past strokes, we usually start either at the top or the bottom. But with the oval, if we start at the top with a thick down stroke, and then come around with a thick upstroke, then here you'll see a gap because these lines don't match up. The way to achieve the perfect connection is to actually start a little bit off to the side. So here you start with a thin upstroke, then come down in a thick downstroke, and then come up again with a thin upstroke. And then you'll see there that the lines connect and it doesn't look like there's a start or stopping point. So let's do that again, slow, down, and then slow up. It takes some practice to make sure that those lines match, so just keep at it, making sure you're going very slow, especially during those transitions right here and here. So thin up, start applying pressure, start letting off pressure, thin up. If it makes you feel more comfortable, you can do a lot of tracing of the elbows before you take on doing them freehand. So 
So seam up, stick down, seam up. The regular pants, the main thing you will try to mimic is the shape of the strokes as best as you can. You still want to start at the side, come back up, then go up again, and then come back to sticking the down stroke. Start at the side, do the shape. Connect the lines and then come back and take up the downstroke. Keeping in mind the places where you do the transitions from thin to thick and from thick to thin. So let's do a couple more. We'll start off at the side, go around, connect the lines, and then come back to second the downstroke. Light up. Stick down, light up, and then you stick in the down stroke. Alright, day three is done. I'll see you tomorrow when we wrap up our lettering series.